Hi, I'm Kelsey Waite, a senior at Purdue in Animal Sciences. I'm here to talk to you today about the estrus cycle in sows. All of us working with sows every day know that they have an estrus cycle that will average about 21 days. In this video, we'll give you a better understanding of how the hormones involved in the cycle and how the sows' physiological behaviors change in response to the changing hormones. So let's start by looking at one 21-day cycle. The bottom axis is the days of the cycle, and we will discuss the key hormones that play a role in the sow over this time. On the top of the screen, you will see a review of the ovarian structures and how they change during the cycle. Day zero of the estrus cycle is typically the day of ovulation, so we will designate that here in the timeline for a starting point. Most sows ovulate about two-thirds of the way through standing heat, or estrus. Duration of the heat in pigs is between one and three days. This is where the sows will show estrus, which is the most recognizable time in the cycle because her behaviors change. These behaviors are commonly referred to as heat and include things like increased vocalizations, restlessness, mounting other females, and standing heat reflex, or locking up. These are obviously the behavioral signs we look for when determining which sows to breed each day. All of these behaviors are due to the hormone estrogen from the follicle on the ovary. As the follicles grow, they produce more and more estrogen. Once estrogen reaches a threshold level, it induces a massive release of the hormone GnRH from the hypothalamus of the brain, followed by the luteinizing hormone, or LH, surge. This surge of the LH induces ovulation, which is the rupture of the follicles and release of the eggs. Following ovulation, a corpus hemorrhagicum will form, followed over several days by a corpus luteum, or a CL. The CL typically lasts about 10 to 14 days and produces the hormone progesterone, which functions in establishing and maintaining pregnancy and preventing additional follicular growth on the ovaries. In a non-pregnant animal, the uterus will produce PGF2-alpha, which will kill the CL and decrease progesterone. Then the follicles on the ovary will grow and produce estrogen, and the cycle will start over. Generally speaking, we can divide the cycle into two phases, follicular and luteal. Follicular is when the follicles are large on the ovary and estrogen is high. Luteal is when CL is present on the ovary and progesterone is high. You just learned that estrus can last from one to three days and ovulation is typically two-thirds of the way through estrus. Assume you always want to inseminate sows 12 hours ahead of ovulation. Do you think heat checking one times per day, two times per day, or three times per day would be best to ensure you breed all of your sows at 12 hours before ovulation? 